Okay, so now what we're going to do is look at uh, photographs. What I've done is taken a digital SLR and taken pictures of buildings and, uh, well, buildings, walls, pavements, roads, bits of grass, sky, all the elements that I'm going to need to fill my mat. And one of the things you want to do to prepare for this exercise is go through the mat, uh, the, 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 the base model that you've created, and just list all the assets. Look at that base model and list all the assets you're going to need, uh, all the images you're going to need to cover every pixel of that mat. Okay? Um, once you've done that, you want to. Uh, what we're going to do is is use what I've used in order to, cr to to photograph buildings from the correct aspect ratio. What I've done is uh, use a, a, again. I just I, I just uh, printed a thick version of the wireframe on an acetate on an acetate. If you're unable to do that, just get a piece of acetate and put it over the top of a, uh, of, a of a print of the, the wireframe, a, a paper print of the wireframe. Just put the acetate over the top and then just trace over the top of it with a Sharpie. But that's going to act as a guide. What I do is I stand up, I hold that acetate in front of the camera. So I've got the camera in sort of live view mode if you're using a Canon camera. And um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lining up the my camera so it's taking the picture of the building the buildings lining up with with the with the angle, the perspective. Shall I, if I get that right, the perspective that I need uh, for my mat. Okay, uh, and that's a very important part to do. Another key thing is to actually take um, photograph the mat using the same field of view as you've actually rendered uh, your wireframe at, okay, or your projection camera, okay, and that's an important thing as well. I kind of didn't do that, I was using different different zoom lengths because I thought I could get away with that, and there's some things you can get away with that on and some things you can't get away with that on, so where you have things like corners of buildings, um, the actual, um, uh, you know, the actual field of view of your camera does uh, change how the angle at which these buildings drop off. Okay, and you will find that if you're not using the same uh, field of view, okay, so so the, the, the so you're not using a camera that's got the same size image sensor and the same size um, lens that's been set up in your projection camera, then that's going to be a problem, okay? And what you want to be doing is when you set up your projection camera, you want to be thinking about what camera are you going to use to photograph these elements from, okay, uh, in order to set the camera up, the projection camera up correctly in the first place. So clearly what you need to do is set the ca projection camera to match the, uh, the, the, the field of view of the, the digital SLR that you're using to capture the images rather than the other way around. Obviously you can't, you know, find a digital SLR to fit whatever random settings you might have put into your uh, uh, projection camera in Maya. Okay? So with that in mind, um, and, and so I, I struggle with certain problems. Uh, a particular area that I struggled with was this bridge here. I, I photographed that at a very different, uh, a different field of view, and 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 the way that this was vanishing caused me all sorts of problems. I kind of worked around it and made it work in the end, but it was a bit of a fudge. Uh, uh, from what I really, you know, from the way I really wanted to make it, okay? So, uh, yeah, uh, so I list all the elements. Uh, what you want to do is take the pictures in RAW uh, at a high, at the maximum resolution that your camera can uh, can actually uh, uh, do. Um, uh, and um, the reason you want to do RAW is because it's going to give you that dynamic range. If you want, if you need to adjust the image a little bit in Photoshop, uh, if you might need to adjust the white balance and things like that just to kind of make all the elements match that's a really important uh, uh, thing to do as well the other thing you want to do is take these pictures on an overcast day okay um, that means that the lights kind of even and it's kind of soft and it avoids hard light being baked into your image because if, if you've got a hard light in your image and you're taking these image, pictures of these buildings from different angles as soon as you put them together in the mat it's just going to give it away because the light is going to be falling at different angles on the buildings. So really what you want to be able to do is 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 try and remove that on an overcast day. Everything's evenly lit and then you can actually put your own lighting in after. That's that's the ideal position to be in. Um, uh, then what you want to do is... Um, and then when you're shooting from, when you're using your uh, acetate, what you're trying to do is you're not too worried about scale, 
So don't worry about the scale of, of the of, of, of the image because you can rescale that. You're really looking at the perspective. Okay, the perspective is going to be the hardest thing to fix. So that's that's the key thing when you're using the acetate. Don't worry about the actual position of the image or the scale of the image. So basically as long as you're stood and you've got the perspective kind of right in the camera, then as long as you stand still, the perspective shouldn't change. So when you put the acetate down and take the picture with your camera, that shouldn't matter whether your camera's kind of rotated a little bit, okay, because you can fix that. That's just, yeah, it's it's mainly the, the, your position with, with it's the perspective, i.e. your position with respect to the building, okay? Um, the other thing as well is, is take lots of images. So, so if you need an image of a building, take lots of different buildings. So you've got choices. You know, you might find that a, a building works better or doesn't be work better. There's all sorts of reasons why something will work and something won't work. So take lots of images when you're out there. Uh, I've taken all these images in and around Digbeth. Um, the other thing as well is uh, organize your images as well. So when I got back, I've organized my images in terms of buildings, grass, bridges, walls, roads, so all the different elements that I need. So it's going to make it much easier for me then to kind of grab my images and start building up my mat. Okay.